Welcome to my channel. This is Dawn with Pink Chair Gaming and I am on my island of Rosewood. But today we're going to do something a little different. Um, in my previous video I did a speed build on my hard mode island and I had a couple comments asking about creating fake buildings. So on today's video we are going to go through um, a couple of different ways that are my favorite ways to create different types of fake buildings. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so for my first building, I have used the Stonework Kitchen, and this is in the beige variant, to create a bakery. Now what's cool about this is, you can use any color scheme that you want. Uh, you can use more or less of the Stonework Kitchens. So for this particular one, I have used two on the right and two on the left and then one in the middle. But you could also do this with just one on each side. You could do two on the right, one on the left, or, or vice versa. Um, I love how this building comes together. I especially like using it for shops. I don't know that I would try to use this for a house, um, but you maybe could. Now, as I said, I used this as a bakery, but this could be any type of shop you want to turn it into. Um, behind the stall, you'll see that I've used um, like a ranch kitchen, but you could also put um, the magazine stand back there and make this into a bookstore. You could do all kinds of stuff with this. You could put clothes back there. And then one of my favorite parts about this building is on the right hand side, or on the sides of it, I have used the curtain partition to kind of hide that it's an actual stonework kitchen. And I just really like how it kind of makes it more clean looking. All right, so this is my first building that I've created. So hang tight and I'll show you the second one. Okay, here we go. So this particular building um, is great for using for like apartments and housing type stuff. Um, I love this one. It uses the loft bed with desk um, and simple panels in front of it. And this is one of my favorite ways of creating multi-layer houses. I know there's other ways and I'll show them to you here shortly. But as I say, this one uses the loft bed with desk um, and I have created it on two levels. So you have the, the little loft bed with the panels and then directly behind it, I built some cliffs up and added a second layer up there. Now what's cool about this are the different ways that you can actually decorate around it. So like to the right or left of it, you could add trees. Um, another really cool thing to do with it is to put um, a staircase right in between and put another set on the other side. So this is a good way to like put an entrance um, up to a second level of your island. All right, so give me a minute to reset and I'll show you the next design. All right, so this particular one, um, I'm gonna show you a couple of different ways to kind of mess with this. So the first way is to use the storefronts with the simple panels in front of it to create a very simple looking house, but you can also add a second layer at the top to create a two-story building. Now on this particular one, I have used the medieval side um, at the top of it, um, and then the storefront at the bottom. But you can also change it and use the medieval side instead of the storefront. But when I do something like this, um, I normally don't use the panels at the top. So this one is definitely versatile. It gives you a couple of different ways um, of creating that two layer apartment look. All right, so now we're gonna do a little bit of a change here and I'm going to take down the simple panels and we're gonna add a curtain partition to the front and kind of open them up and make it look like a cute little house this way. And I love this particular design for more of a cottage core um, or a country type of island. I just think it, it's very cozy looking. So as I say, I love using the curtain partitions um, with the storefront and I love how the top of the, 
the curtain is exactly at the top of the storefront. Okay, so now we're gonna just add another dimension to this. Um, I'm gonna pull out these curtain partitions and we're gonna add another layer of storefront behind what's already here because I just think it makes it look even more realistic having the two layers of storefronts. Okay, so now that we've done this to the front side, let me go up top and make a little bit of change up here so it looks even better. All right, so I've only used one here, but this will at least give you um, the idea of what we're trying to pull off. So when you use the storefronts up top, it makes it look even more um, like a country building. I'll include a link up at the right, but I have used this type of design for the entrance of my hard mode island um, for a big farmhouse. And I absolutely love how something like this turns out. All right, so that's it for this one. Hang tight and I will pull up the last design that we're gonna work on for this video. All right, here we go. So this particular design is a recreation of the coffee shop that is on my hard mode island and i love how this looks um, i just think they're really cute and pretty realistic looking so for this particular design i have used the wide display stand um, which is the white part of it and then i've used short simple panels in front of the glass part and i've used the regular simple panels for the doors and then um, the thing I like about this is on the right hand side, it's more clean looking like a building instead of seeing all of the glass. And then you can definitely um, make this bigger by adding even more um, of the display stands out to the side and put more items in there. Um, it's really cute also if you change um, the little piece of paper that's at the back and make it like a menu or something like that so this is definitely a very versatile um, design you can make it as big as you want as small as you want and I love how this one turns out so I'll go ahead and put one more display stand on the back just so you can see um, what it looks like complete And there we go. So that is what this one looks like with it being just a little bit bigger. Now I promise that even though this is the last design I'm gonna do, this is definitely not all of the different ways that you can create fake buildings. I know I've also seen um, the bookshelves used instead of the wide display stands. I just prefer this over those. All right, so that's gonna be it for this video. I hope I've inspired you in some way um, to help you create something spectacular on your island. Please be sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on any future content, and I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye!